Kathy. Um, I'm the brand ambassador for Bosch and Doll and have been here for many years and very passionate about the whole farm. We've got a very good, long, extensive history. So we basically, Bosch and Doll was founded in 1685. So we're the second oldest wine farm in South Africa and also one of the largest because Bosch and Doll is 2,240 hectares. So it's actually made up of 19 individual farms that was put under one ownership. It's hard to imagine that this is usually there are loads of people sitting under this magnificent old oak tree and this is our main wine tasting centre so obviously once we're up and running this will hopefully be incredibly busy lots of people enjoying the sunshine and sitting under the trees. Just out of interest we are now standing in the largest heritage rose garden in the southern continent of Africa the original story here is that Gwen Fagan, she went off to source the original rose cuttings from Kew Gardens in London, brought them out to Boschendal and they were planted in front of the manor house and about five years ago we decided to extend that rose garden and hence this is what we ended up with and during summer times we do picnics in our rose garden. Hi, I'm Danielle Jacobs, Capricic winemaker for Boschnal Wine Estate. Today we are drinking the Boschnal Boots Non-Vintage. It's a classic blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. This wine has a lovely lingering finish and nice citrus fruit on the palate as well, so great for any time of the year. Welcome to Boschnal Wines. Um, I would love to share Black Angus 2017 with you guys. Uh, the bloodline of this wine is the Shiraz. It's Shiraz dominant. It's backed with some Bordeaux varietals as well. The Bordeaux varietals obviously just giving the wine beautiful structure, beautiful wine to drink, but obviously it's got longevity. It's made to age. It's got all the proper, the beautiful flavors you would like out of a blend like this. It's still classic in style and um, yeah, enjoy. Hi guys, I'm Michael Langenhofen. I'm the white wine maker at Bosendal. I want to talk about our um, Chardonnay, which is a big part of the portfolio at Bosendal. We do a bit of stainless steel fermentation and maturation. We also do a big part in 300 litre oak barrels. And then as you can see here, um, the food rest is big uh, oak vats that we ferment and mature our wines in just give structure to, to the Chardonnay. Uh, the Amphora clay pots is um, technology that we um, use that dates back almost a thousand years. Then I just want to say cheers to Bastille. I hope you all have a, a great Bastille day. Bachelot has a lot to offer, more than just wine. We want it to be a destination. We want to encourage guests to come and actually spend a whole day here or a weekend getaway. We've got a lot of accommodation, as you can see behind me, with a beautiful backdrop of Simonsburg Mountains. We've got a wedding venue. Guests can hire mountain bikes and do various trails up the Simonsburg Mountain, depending how competent you are. Kids have their own special play area where they are also taken out on foraging tours. So we want to promote back to nature. So welcome to beautiful Boschendal. This is our organic food garden. It's been going for about five years now. It was a pear orchard before. Um, we've had to do a lot of work with restoring the soil before we could even call it an organic food garden. We supply all of our kitchens here and yeah, ensuring that people get the best quality of food. We don't grow any hybrid seeds or corporate controlled seeds. It's very important to us that the guests that come onto the farm get the best food possible from our farm shops to our kitchens, our picnic baskets. The health of people is very important to us here at Boschendal and we start with the soil and regenerative soil farming. So we have livestock, we've got over a thousand cattle, we've got hundreds of pigs and without the livestock we cannot regenerate the soil. Animals are very important to the fertility of the soil and that it's very important for us to inspire others to grow food too so there's parts of this garden that's experimental and it's there's other parts that are purely for our kitchens 
It's important that we get people here to understand the basics of gardening so that you can take that back home and start your own food growing. It's, it's fundamental for people with a bit of space to start growing their own food and to connect the guests to the rhythms of the seasons, especially here on the farm. When guests come through in winter, you've got your citrus trees, you know, with all the lemons, nature's saying, oh, do you need vitamin C? Well, here we go. So the guests really get to, to understand the importance of the rhythms of the seasons. And most of our plants are medicinal and obviously just for the enjoyment of eating. But these nasturtiums are, are beautiful. They've got a lovely peppery taste and it's a natural antibiotic for the throat. And you'll notice we've got um, a couple of rows of roses um, What's important when you're organic farming is we don't use any herbicides or sprays for the insects, so we have to companion plant. And insects much prefer the sweetness of flowers, like the roses, than attacking our vegetables. So, and um, yeah, pick your own food, harvest your own eggs, stay in a beautiful cottage on Bashendal. It's a wonderful place.